Welcome back to our £1,000 car and caravan adventure. In last week's episode, Taylor and I took our glorious rig on track, fixed our £300 tow car with an egg, and discovered that setting up camp is actually a lot harder than we thought. Oh, <gasps> hell. So join us now, the following morning. There's a pumpkin. There's a pumpkin. Morning. How'd you sleep? Oh. You know what? This is actually really comfortable. It's not bad apart from the smell of tomatoes. Yeah. This caravan rocks a lot. And I don't know if you know, but we are right next to the sea. I, I did notice that actually. We didn't notice that last night. No. Though. Well, anyway, shall we head on and explore the rest of Wales today? Let's do that. What's for breakfast? You've got a pumpkin. Oh, God. <laughs> right, let's get ready and then we'll hit the road. Okay. Transition. Oh, wow! <laughs> hell! Please, can I come out? After packing up and reconnecting the caravan, it was now time to hit the road. Obviously, with our pumpkin mascot. We are now on our way to Blue Lagoon, which is uh, an abandoned quarry. And the reason it's called Blue Lagoon is because uh, the water in the lagoon is blue. Right. So I'm excited today to go and check out what Wales has got to offer. We're going to head up the west coast of Wales and then we're going to end in Snowdonia, the amazing driving roads off Snowdonia. And we are also going to go to Black Rock Beach, which is Ooh. where you can actually drive your car on a beach. That sounds nice. And you know what else is nice? The sponsor of this series, Car Vertical. So as you already know, Car Vertical is a really easy and thorough way of checking a car's history. So for example, if I want to check out a Vauxhall Crossland X, which is a little SUV, all I need to do is open up Car Vertical. And then as you can see, I can check out the mileage. We've got green tick for mileage, uh, green tick for theft. So it hasn't been stolen. Accidents and finance, you can also check out. And as you can see with this particular car, um, it looks like it's been in an accident and it looks like there may be some outstanding finance. So all we need to do is scroll down slightly further and then, yep, I can see in 2020 in January, damage detected. We can see outstanding finance. Finance was taken out 2019 in May for a term of 60 months. So we're still in 2022. There's still a number of years of finance left on that. So this definitely isn't a car that I want to go for. However, the mileage looks like there is a possible odometer entry mistake because it really shoots up there. Again, another red flag with this car. And then if we go to the damage report, we can scroll down. And then, like I said, we can check out those pictures. Oh, God, that doesn't look very good at all, does it? Massive front end damage. The wings are knackered. The bonnet's gone. Lights are gone. And inside, the, the airbag's gone as well. So if this is a car that you're looking at, then this particular car is one that you need to avoid. But for a car that you might be interested in, Let's take a look at Rory's very own BMW 535D. As you can see, Rory has locked out with his BMW 535D Touring. Green ticks all round for mileage, theft, accidents and finance. And in August this year, you can see that Rory bought the car, after which he put on his fancy personalised number plate. Again though, Car Vertical gives this car the green light, so he's done well buying it. So to make sure you don't get stung when buying a car, use Car Vertical, and you can also take advantage of 10% off using the code AUTOALEX. You're welcome. After a few miles of driving, we made it to Blue Lagoon, arriving in a car park not particularly suited to caravanning. <laughs> no, the caravan! Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, she's laughing, that lady's laughing. Where do I park? Dude, leave it here, I don't know. <laughs> Despite being more green than blue in colour, Blue Lagoon that's situated in the hamlet of Aberedi, Pembrokeshire, was created when the wall of an old slate mine was blasted to let the sea in. After leaving Blue Lagoon behind, our next destination was Snowdonia. But not before we tried a local Welsh delicacy. Right then, so we've just made it into the Snowdonia National Park. As you can see behind us is Snowdonia, which is why it's covered in snow. 
I've never had Welsh cakes, have you? No. All right, let's find out what they're like. Mmm. That was a good one. Cheers. Are these better than scones? Very dry. Very dry. It's a no from me. It's, it's so dry. It's a bit dry. dry. I, need mm -hmm. a, I need a drink. We but... need clotted cream. You need oh, a drink. Mmm. Mm. Anyway, we're going to head deeper into Snowdonia now, but for now, enjoy the lovely view. <laughs> With pre-lunch now devoured, it was again time to head onwards. We are now 350 miles into our journey. We've developed a new fault. The cooling issue I fixed yeah. is absolutely perfect. He's driving all right apart from the brakes. Yeah, the brakes are really shuddery, like all of a sudden. Yeah, and it's mainly from the front left. Yes. It sounds like... I don't know, is it ball joint noise as well? We need to watch that and um, hope that the, the wheel doesn't fall off. Um, Graham, the caravan is still creaking along, <laughs> doing lot. well. Uh, the, the interior looks like, shit. like a shit bomb has gone off in it. It's disgusting. <laughs> I am enjoying it and I am enjoying the fact that we have a house attached to our car. Yeah. So no matter where we go, we can go in there, have a cup of tea and we had a good night's sleep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's police. Oh, it's the police. <clears throat> Wales is really pretty, the coastline is epic, and uh, we are on our way now to Black Rock Beach, where we're going to be driving on the beach. That would be nice. If this hasn't inspired you to go out and buy a shit car and a shit caravan, <laughs> I don't know what will. <laughs> Taylor, I think the wipers need to go on. There we go! <laughs> All right, we'll catch up with you in a bit. As the sun began to set, we finally made it to our destination, Black Rock Sand. Okay, so we have just arrived at Black Rock Sands, which is a beach that you are legally allowed to drive on. It feels mushy. Does it? I'm gonna go in this wet bit. Well, let's stay away from the man with the metal detector. Can I just dip and see what the water's like? Wait, shall we put on our diff locks? I don't know if that helps. Look, 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 watch this, you ready? Oh! We're in the sea! Oh my god, we're, we're in, in the sea! sea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're in the yeah. sea! We're in the I'm sea! Doing so well. Oh no! Oh no! We're in the sea! We're in the sea with the caravan! <laughs> with the caravan! I forgot, we had I the forgot caravan. about the caravan! If you go to Wales, North Wales, uh, Snowdonia, then go to Black Rock Sands. Don't be a dickhead, don't do donuts and stuff because you are people are getting pulled over for dangerous driving. Just have a little play, okay? You don't need to go fast to have fun. You can go in the sea a little bit. If you get your car stuck, it's your own fault. That is nice. <laughs> right, nice. my turn. Oh, oh window! Oh, 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 I can't put the, get the thing up because the GoPro! Oh. Oh god, we were losing. Go back in! Oh god, we're slowing down. Oh god, I'm so <laughs> All right then, so Black Rock Sands is, is a highlight of today. Probably a highlight of the trip so far. What an experience. This car's gonna go so rusty after this experience. Oh God, yeah, and that, the caravan's done for now, it, isn't it? It's it, rotten. Yeah, it it's completely so, rotten. And it's making some very funny noises. It really is, yeah, there's a lot of new rattles. Um, but, anyway, oh, what yeah. an experience. Oh, it's been so good, it's been so good. I've loved this. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are now going to leave this place before we end up burying the car <laughs> and uh, landing in the sea. And we're gonna head to our campsite. So, um, yeah. Let's do that. We've had a good day, haven't we? We have, yeah. All right, we'll time, catch up with you in a bit. Time to rest up in the caravan. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. All right then, so as you can see, we have made it to our campsite in good time as well, because it's just started pissing it down. We need to do a little bit of cleaning up, but we're gonna now um, go in and, um, and head to bed very soon, because it's quite late. So after you, yeah. it's been a really good day. All oh, careful. Oh my God. Yeah. Anyway, we'll um, we'll catch you guys in the morning. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ.
After setting off from the hotel, I mean caravan site, we stumbled across something we just had to stop for. Not super between these two voxels. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. And a Unimog. Oh, I like the Unimog. Oh, I like the Unimog. Shall we have a look at it? Yeah. Not the Unimog, the Supra. Look at the Supra. It looks like it hasn't been touched for quite a while. Should we have a look? If it's, yeah. See if it's abandoned? Yeah. And then leave a note? Yeah. How do you, how do you get cars from leaving notes? Dear so, owner. Dear owner, compliment the car. So Dear. this is a very nice example. Just seen your lovely Supra parked. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm, I'm writing on the um, horn. Yeah. <laughs> parked up. Um, your lovely Supra parked up. If you'd consider selling, please let me know. Yes. Right. Let's um. Let's leave a note on, and then um. Yeah. And then we'll see. We'll take you with us as well. This looks like it's been here for quite a long time. It does, yeah. That's oh, a turbo. Yeah. Three litre turbo. That is very cool. Do you want to do the honours? Yeah. Uh, usually I put it under the wiper. There's not really that much of a wiper. Oh, but yeah. It should be all right. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, shall I fold it? Just. Yeah, yeah, in case it rains. Yeah, because that's definitely going to stop the ink. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Taylor, shall we um go? Find some nice driving roads and then go have some lunch. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna make some chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> what? Uh, what? Chicken what? After a few more miles, we finally got to see what Wales had to offer as we arrived at Pen E Pass. Right, Taylor, this is the moment we've all waited for. We are now on the Penny Pass, which is a really nice road leading up to Mount Snowden. This Mount looks, Snowden is right there. Yeah, this looks really nice. And I have a feeling this is going to get really nice. I'd, I'd like to be doing this in an E39 M5. Yeah, but we got a caravan though, so we, you know, we're the next best thing. Also, I get the feeling that this is one of those kind of roads where you don't want to be driving too fast. You want to drink in all yeah. the scenery because it is stunning. Look, look at this landscape. This is very much like Scotland, isn't it? Yeah. And I don't mean that to be a disservice to Wales, but Scotland is like peak natural architecture. No, you've just you've just mined no, Wales. I, I have I have up the whole. You've you've just mined Wales. Wales, I'm Wales, sorry, Wales. Yeah. But just think, a few days ago, we were at your unit with this car, with a caravan. We knew nothing about them. Yeah and we have made it to our destination. It's it's absolutely unbelievable, really. Yeah. And the fact that all of it costs less than a thousand pounds. 750 quid combined for our rig. I spent more than that on lunch. Yeah, yeah, you have. Oh my God, look at this. Wow. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oh, wow. This is absolutely stunning. I, I just don't even know where to look. Like, I know, there's a lot to drink in, isn't there? So um, yeah, I hope that this scenery and our rig inspires you guys to get on Facebook Marketplace, Auto Trader, Gumtree, wherever, speak to dealers. Because remember, Taylor found the caravan by phoning up a dealer and saying, do you have any shit? Any and lo and behold, hexes. lo and behold, here we are. So do that, buy shit, go on adventures with your friends. And have, have fun. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun with shit cars, because that's what we love doing. Yeah, because if there's one thing we've done on this trip, is have fun with that. We are with a shit car yeah. and a shit caravan. Yeah. So how about we go park up somewhere nice? Yeah. And then, um, and then I'll make us some lunch. You're going to make the lunch. Yeah. Oh. I've been shopping. Right, we've pulled over in Wales. Mount Snowdon is there. There's uh, Lake Snowdon, the famous, I don't know what that's called, it's just a lake. And uh, we're gonna be cooking up some chicken cordon bleu because um, as we know, that is a very Welsh dish. A bit like um, Welsh rarebit. Also, do you know what the Welsh call a microwave? Microwave. No, a pop de ping. Because oh, no. you pop it in pop. and then you wait for it to ping. Pop de ping. True. Very true. Because we're rocking so much in the wind and all I can see out that window is the lake, I feel like I'm on a boat. Yeah, it is very boat-like. It's, it's nice. First things I'm going to do, I'm going to chop up the cheese. 
No, oh, no, no, can we have I, no, I am. Uh, no. Sorry, sorry. Is this not a perfect cheese slice? Look how perfect this cheese slice. Would yeah. you like it? There yeah, you go. I love that. Oh, mm. mm. that's mature. By the way, would anyone like a, a glass of Pepsi? <laughs> yes, please. Okay, right, who wants it? Catch. <laughs> right, I'm going to chop up some garlic now. Oh, no. oh. It's gone everywhere. <sighs> I do actually really enjoy cooking. Not that you'd think, God, this is quite difficult trying to cook in a, in a need... kitchen that moves. So chicken cordon bleu, for those of you who don't know, is one of my favorite meals. It is basically a breast chicken, butterflied up, which means just cut in half, opened up, and then you put ham and cheese in it and you spice it and then you fry it up and it is lovely. And we're gonna have that with some basmati rice with a bit of butter and some broccoli. All right, does that sound good for everyone? Yeah. We chef. Yes, chef. No, we chef. Yes, chef. I will stab you. Yeah. No, chef. We've not actually tried the, um, the cooker yet. So this oh. could all be in vain. Shall I, can, shall I do that? Yeah. Go on, Taylor, you can do that. How do I do that? Right, so... Um, we're not connected to the mains, we're on battery power. So has anyone got a lighter? On the floor. Why is it on the floor? Oh, really? Oh, oh, for crying out loud, this is embarrassing. So, right, where's a, where's a... Um, I'm behind you, not... Oh my God! I've done it. Have we got it? No, it, it doesn't really me, <laughs> that's big. <laughs> All right, don't worry about that now. Let's just, I'm trying to cook it. No, the it. wood. <gasps> Good Lord. Sorry, I just need to get to the bin. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Fair play. Frank? What happened? Yeah, this is really good. How's your cutlery? I like how you're eating. Yeah. There wasn't anything clean last time. Also, let's just take a moment. Have a look at the view behind us. We are sitting in a caravan. We've just cooked a really nice lunch. And the thing is with a caravan, you can park up wherever the f you like and do this. This is can. really cool. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm. I'm really enjoying this road trip. Should we end it there? Thank you very much for watching this series, three part series, where remember, we bought a car and a caravan for 750 pounds. The car is still going just about, and the caravan is doing us proud. We are currently eating inside Graham, which is very pleasing. Mm. Hopefully this is gonna inspire you guys to go on Facebook Marketplace or whatever else, and go and explore the great British countryside or wherever you wanna go. It's really good fun, it's cheap, and if you break down, it doesn't really matter. You can just throw it away. Just chuck it in that in that water. Can't say that. Don't do that. Get the AA or the RAC. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. And thank you again to Car Vertical. Remember, you can get 10% off your Car Vertical report by using the code AUTOALEX following the link below. Any final words, Taylor? I just want to say a massive thank you. Cut! Uh